Hi friends, I'm Steph and I'm a speech therapist with Mankato Clinic. I work at Pediatric Therapy Services in Mankato where I get to work with friends just like you all day long. One of my favorite activities to do with my friends is reading books. Reading books is such a great way to learn new words, see the words printed on the page, and put meaning with those words by seeing the pictures and listening to your parents read the words. Did you know that you need to hear those words and sounds to help yourself for later development of reading? Yeah, they're called phonological skills. Phonological skills are so necessary for reading later on. And the earlier you start listening to books with your family, the more likely you're gonna be a really good reader yourself. Books are also a great part for bedtime. Did you know that bedtime routines are important too? When you go to sleep, it helps you develop in all areas. So sleep is so important. And a bedtime routine helps your body prep for sleeping. So a few things to keep in mind when you're prepping your body for sleeping is to have your family have a bedtime routine. So things like having a calm night right before bed, or right before sleep, so that means things like turning off your TV, putting down phones or tablets, you know, those things can kind of overstimulate our body and we want to be calm for bedtime. So doing things instead like um, taking a bath or shower for the bigger kids or reading books is a great calm activity. Um, listening to music like very quiet instrumental music is a calm activity. All those things help our bodies sleep better. Another thing to help us sleep better is making sure that our tummies are just right full. Do you guys have bedtime snacks before you go to bed? At my house, I give my kids a choice of two bedtime snacks and they're usually healthy snacks. So thinking of two things that will make your tummy just right full, where you're not gonna go to bed too hungry, but you're not gonna go to bed too full either. So having a choice like, I'll give my kids, do you want a cheese stick before bed or do you want a banana? And sometimes we even put peanut butter on that banana too. Those are really good, healthy choices. Another thing you wanna think about with your bedtime routine with your family is thinking about things you can do very regularly. So things you can do consistently. Something you can do each night. Um, making sure your bedtime routine starts, you know, same time of night each night. So after dinner, we usually start our bedtime routine at our house, you know, and then that kind of helps us, that consistency helps us know what to expect at bedtime. And it's something we can look forward to that's special each night. Those are all great things to incorporate into your bedtime routines. And today I have a book for us to read and it's one of my favorites. This will be the last thing and it's called Little Blue Truck. Horn went beep, engine purred, friendliest sounds you ever heard. Little blue truck came down the road, beep said blue to a big green toad. Toad said croak and winked an eye when little blue truck went rolling by. Sheep said ba, cow said moo, oink said pig and beep said blue. Cluck said a chicken and her chick said peep. Ma said a goat, blue said beep. Nay said a horse, quack said a duck. Beep said the friendly little blue truck. Honk yelled a dump truck, coming through. I've big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. Room went the dump around the curve. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Into the mud rolled a big fat truck and his big important wheels got stuck. His heavy duty dump truck tires were sunk down deep in the muck in the mire. Honk cried the dump and he sounded scared, but nobody heard or nobody cared. Then into the mud bump 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 came the little blue truck to help the dump. Little Blue pushed with all his might. Now Little Blue and the dump stuck tight. 
Help, 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 cried the little blue truck. Beep, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Everybody heard that beep, beep, beep. The cow came running with the pig in the sheep. Up at a gallop ran the big brown horse. Goat jumped over the fence, of course. The hen came flapping with the chick and the duck and everybody pushed the little blue truck. Head to head and rump to rump, they all pushed blue who pushed the dump. They couldn't quite budge that heavy load and who hopped up but the big green toad. All together, one, two, three, one last push and the trucks were free. Thanks, little brother, said the dump to Blue. You helped me and they helped you. Now I see a lot depends on a helping hand from a few good friends. Beep, said Blue, who wants a ride? Everybody scrambled to jump inside. Oink, quack, ba, moo, cluck, peep, nay, croak, ma, <laughs> nay, croak, ma, beep, beep, beep. It's such a fun book. I love reading it over and over and I hope you enjoyed it too. And I can't wait to hear all about your bedtime routines. And are they the same as mine? Probably not. Maybe so. I guess every family is different. Can't wait to hear about them. Bye friends.